In this video, I'll be detailing what we mean by lines of latitude and lines of longitude. In this video, I'll be looking at lines of latitude and lines of longitude and how we can apply these principles. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of the Geography Basics series. Lines of latitude and longitude are used to locate places around the world accurately. Lines of latitude are lines around the world, whilst lines of longitude can be referred to as lines over the world. LA equals lines around, LO equals lines over. Lines of latitude circle the Earth in an east to west direction and are parallel to each other. There are several important lines of latitude. The equator, which is located at zero degrees, divides the world into the northern and southern hemispheres. The Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn signify the areas either side of the equator and exhibit hot tropical climates and jungles. The Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle are the next important lines of latitude. The area in between the tropics and the Arctic and Antarctic circles is characterised by four different seasons of weather. Here in the UK we lie between these two lines and that's why we get such changeable weather conditions throughout the year. Lines of longitude run from the top of the world to the bottom. They run from the north and south poles and are not parallel. The prime meridian, which is zero degrees in longitude, runs through Greenwich in London. It is used as the prime meridian on charts and maps, and it divides the world into eastern and western hemispheres. We can use lines of latitude and longitude to identify locations around the world. The first thing you want to look at is the latitude. Is the location north or south of the equator? The second thing you do is the longitude. Is the location west or east of the prime meridian? If we take a look at London as an example, London is north of the equator, but it is directly on the line of the prime meridian. London is located around 50 degrees north and zero degrees. If we look at the second example of New York, now New York again is north of the equator for latitude and west of the prime meridian. So New York is around 40 degrees north and 75 degrees west. Lastly, let's look at Rio de Janeiro. Rio is to the south of the equator and to the west of the prime meridian. So Rio would be located around 20 degrees south, 40 degrees west. Here are three more examples for you to try. Pause the screen, think about your answer, and then check the answers in the description below. So that's a short summary of how we can use latitude and longitude in your geographical studies. If you need any more practice with this, please ask your teacher or check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more Geography Basics coming soon.